Hello, I'm Justin, a member of the customer service escalations team here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'll explain why you still charge for Amazon Elastic Block Store even when all the Amazon EC2 instances are stopped. Let's get started. Amazon EBS charges are based on the amount of storage provisioned to your AWS account, measured in gigabyte months. However, EBS volumes that are attached to the instance continue to retain information and occur charges, even when an instance is stopped. This means you are charged for the total provision storage capacity, regardless of whether your EC2 instance are running or stopped. To reduce your charges, delete the EBS volume. To retain the data stored in EBS for later use, create a snapshot of the EBS volume. Let's look at an example in our EC2 dashboard where we provision the volume to an attached instance. Open the AWS Management Console to navigate to the EC2 dashboard. On the left-hand pane, click Instances. Here, I have an EC2 instance with a 50 gigabyte EBS volume attached. To see the volume, click on the Storage tab. Now, I'll stop the instance. Click on Instance State and Stop Instance. Even though the instance is now stopped, the EBS volume is still provisioned and storing data. The continued provision and storage explains why it continue to occur charges for the 50 gigabytes of provisioned EBS storage. To stop incurring EBS charges, delete any volumes or snapshots that you no longer need. Navigate to the left-hand side pane and select Volumes. Select the volume in question, go to the Actions tab, and select Detach Volume. Once detached, select the volume, click on the Actions tab, and now you may delete the volume. In the Confirmation field, type Delete to delete the volume. Now the volume is deleted. Before you delete a volume, however, it's a good idea to create a snapshot. For more information on snapshots, please visit the link in the video description. Note that you are charged for snapshot storage as well, but you are charged at a lower rate compared to provision volumes. So now you know why you might still be charged for Amazon EBS even when all your Amazon EC2 instances are stopped. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.